Today's lesson is from Unit 7, Lesson Number 4. In this lesson, we will be adding 3 and 4 lengths. Now, lengths is when we have measurements. Maybe something is 3 feet long or 25 centimeters long. But just because we're going to be using lengths does not mean that we need a ruler today. Today's problems are actually going to be focusing on story problems, so no rulers are needed. Let's take a look at a quick review. Now, towards the beginning of the school year, we practice adding three and four numbers all together. Now, here is an example. At the top, we have 18 plus 27 plus 23. That is three different numbers. Now you might say, why is our screen at the bottom split into two sections? Well, there are two ways that you can solve this problem. And I'm going to share with you those two ways, and then you can pick which way you like the best. I have my personal preference, but it's always good to review just to see. Now, the first way is to add in parts. Let me show you what that looks like. First, I'm going to add the first two numbers together, 18 plus 27. Let's add those up. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I made a new 10. And then 2, 3, 4. Four. So that part is 45. Now I need to add on this 23. So I'm going to move 45 up to the top and then add on my 23 to get my final answer. 5, 6, 7, 8, and 4, 5, 6. So in this strategy, first you add the first two numbers, which were 18 and 27. Then you take that and add on the third number, which was 23. So that is one way to add. The second way to add, I like to call all together. Now this is my preferred strategy, but you don't have to do it this way, but I want to show it to you. In this strategy, I'm going to stack all three numbers up on top of each other in a vertical equation like this, 18, 27, and 23. When we add more than two numbers, we only need one plus sign near the very bottom number. Now, when I stack them all on top of each other, I can just add all of the numbers in the ones column, just like this. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I put my 8 at the bottom and my new 10 at the top. Now I add the 10s. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So as you can see, I still got the same answer. 68, 68. But you can choose whether you like to solve in parts or all together. All together usually takes a bit less time just because you only have to write the equation once, but you have to be very careful with your adding because there's more numbers to add up. Our second goal of this lesson is to add four numbers together. As you can see in the example at the top, we don't have three, this time we have four. So we're going to add these just like last time. I'm going to show you how to add in parts and then how to add all together. Let's start with our parts strategy. So this one's a little bit different because now we have four numbers. So I'm going to do two and two. This will be a bit different, but not too tricky. Let's start with the first two. 26 plus 35. Here we go. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I made a new 10. 3, 4, 5, 6. 
So the first two numbers add to get me 61. Now let's add the second two numbers. 38 plus 24. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I made a new 10. 3, 4, 5, 6. 62. Now I added the first two numbers and I added the second two numbers, but I need to find the total for all four numbers. So what do you think we should do second grade? Let's add both of those up together to find the total. Here we go. Two plus one more, that's three, no new tens. And six plus six, that's one of our doubles. What's six plus six second grade? 12. So our total is 123. Now, for the second strategy with our all together strategy, we're going to write one big equation and we should get the same exact number. We should get 123. Let's see if we do. Okay, I'm going to have to write small. 26, 35, 38, and 24. Okay. Remember, only one plus sign needed in this problem. Now, you need to decide how you want to start adding in your ones place. My personal preference is to start with adding the largest numbers first and then get smaller. Watch what I do. I go like this. I go 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. See how I started with 8 and then I went to the 6 and the 5 then the 4? That's just my personal preference. You do not have to do it that way. You can add them in any order that you want. Some people like to start from the top and go to the bottom. That's fine too. Whatever works best for you. Now in 23, I made two new tens. So I'm going to put them up top and I'm going to pull my three ones down to the bottom. Okay, so good so far. It's matching my number. Now let's go over to the tens place and see if we got the problem correct. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That means we had twelve tens, which is one hundred twenty-three. So both of our answers match. No matter which way you like to solve it, that is fine. Either strategy is good. Now today, we are going to work on some story problems where we need to add three or four numbers. Let's look at the first one. Miss Debussy is making a frame. She decorates the sides of the frame. How many inches of frame did she decorate? Now, if you're asking, well, there's no numbers in that problem, Miss Debussy, how does that work? Well, if you look right over here, there's a little drawing of the frame. So we're going to use the numbers from this drawing. Now, we want to know how many inches around the entire frame did Miss Debussy decorate. So I'm going to be adding up all four of the sides. That means I'm going to use the numbers. So we have 24, 13, 24, and 13. This must be a rectangle since the two opposite sides are matching and matching. So I know it must be a rectangle. All right, second grade, let's start to add. Now I did the all together method. You might have chosen a different one, that's okay. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I made a new 10, let's put it at the top. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. 74, then I need to look to my drawing for my unit for my label. In this problem, it was inches. Let's look here at another problem. 
Now, when you look over at the drawing for this problem, you might notice that this is a triangle. That means that there are only three sides with three different measurements. So in this problem, we're going to see what we need to do. Mom is adding a new garden to the backyard. What is the distance around the new garden? So that means all along the outside, we want to know the total around the garden. We have a special name for that second grade. It's called the perimeter. Can you say that with me? Perimeter. That's a word that when we measure the outside of something, maybe a fence, maybe a picture frame, like in the last problem, maybe the garden, maybe there's wood around the garden. So we're measuring around the garden. Now I'm going to do the all together method, but you can choose a different way. Here we go, let's add up our numbers. Oh, the ones are easy. Look, I have a zero. So I have eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I don't even have to add that zero because it's worth nothing. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 again. 144, then let's look at our label, inches. So even though it was a triangle, we still could add up all three of the sides to get the total. Uh-oh, second grade. This one doesn't have a picture. We might need to draw a quick sketch, that's okay. Let's see what it says. A small soccer field has four right angles that are 52 feet, 37 feet, 52 feet, and 37 feet. What is the distance around the soccer field? Hmm, I saw a few clues here. I see that the soccer field has four right angles. Those are those corners that look like a perfect L. Now, let's look at the lengths. We had 52 feet, 37 feet, 52 feet again, and 37 feet again. Do you know what this sounds like to me, second grade? It sounds like this soccer field is a rectangle. Do you know why it sounds like a rectangle? Well, when I look at the numbers that they gave me in the problem, I have 52, 52. Do you see those up there? That means they're the same. 52 feet, 52 feet. And then it was 37 feet, 37 feet. Do you see how the opposites are equal? And I know that that is true in a rectangle. So I'm making a guess that this small soccer field is a rectangle. Now they want to know the distance around the soccer field. So let's add those up. Once again, I'm going to do the all together method because that's just what I prefer. Seven plus seven, well, that's a double, I know that one. That's 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I made a new 10. Oh, five plus five, that's 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 178, then let's look for our label, feet. Now feet was also in the problem. It was in there four times. So we don't have to search too far to find what our label is. The last example today. The playpen has a plastic fence around it. Each of the four sides are 48 inches long, and there are four right angles. What is the total length of the plastic fence? But second grade, they only give me one number. Did you catch the trick? It says each of the four sides. That means that all four sides are 48 inches. Oh my goodness, they tried to trick us with a square. I know that in a square, every single side is 48. 
go ahead and try this one on your own on a sheet of paper to see how much it is.